Verse 20. Do you want to be shown, you foolish person, that faith apart from works is useless? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up his son Isaac on the altar? By his works. See, here's the thing. When we say we trust Christ, when we say we're a Christian that we follow God, See, Abraham proved it because when God said, sacrifice your only son, this one I was promising to you on the altar, he went through with it. And he's like, God, I don't know what the heck you're doing. I don't know why you would ask me to do this. But if you promised him to me, you, you, you have to have a plan. I, I trust you. And he takes his son up and his son is like that. Where's the offering? <laughs> right? Where, where, where's the offering, Dad? Like, we have done this before. What's, what's going on here? And Abraham's like, yo, the Lord will provide, man. He'll provide. And, and, and it, said, it said what I love here is it says that Abraham believed God, right? He believed God. So he believed the right things about God, but it wasn't just the intellect believing that, but it was also bringing his steps in life uh, to, to align with that truth. That God is God, Christ is king, and what he says goes, even if I don't like it. So, at the end of that, it says that that belief or that faith was accredited to him as righteousness. That's good news. And he was called a friend of God. What I find so interesting about that story is that if Abraham doesn't, if he doesn't go through with that, he never knows God as Jehovah Jireh. Right? If he disobeys God in that point in time, he never gets the revelation that God is provider. See, and, and, and he wants to, man, he wants to make himself known to us. That's what's so mind-boggling, right? This great God, ruler of the universe, creator of everything, wants us to know him. So, we'll continue on. Verse um, 24. You see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. Woo! That creates some tension. Because we have a gospel that is preached that you come in, you say the prayer, now you're saved. We have evangelism that says you come in, you say the prayer, now you're saved. And so if there's never any life change, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Are we helping deceive people that they're saved? You're telling me we won't answer for that? 